multiple integrals double integrals change order of integration this is part 2 i already given part 1 now we are going to part 2 this is changing the order of integration in sum number 2 we are going to sum number 2 change the order of integration Zero to one. Y square two minus x x y dy dx and evaluate it. Evaluate it. In previous part, we have seen zero to a y square by y. 2a minus x. Now just without a is one here. The same sum, sub different with a is one. See, first we have to draw the diagram. Then only we can change the order. See, limits are zero to one. Y square two minus x. If there is x in the limit, which is equal to y, immediately write y. Remaining x. This is the way of change order of integration. One, two, three, four. Four curves we have to draw. By drawing the curve, we can change the order of integration by the with the help of the curve. This is straight line. X comes this side. x plus y equal to two. This is a parabola. Y squared equal to y. This is straight line. X equal to one parallel to y axis. X equal to zero. This is equal to the y axis. Again, I'm telling limits are zero to one. Y squared to two minus x. If there is, if there are limits in x, then equal to with immediately right equal to y, like y. Remaining or x, x, x. One, two, three, four. By taking all these four, we can draw the diagram. This is equation of straight line. This is a parabola. One power is two, another power is one. Therefore, nothing but this is a parabola. X equal to one. Which is a straight line parallel to y axis. This is x equal to zero. Equation of y axis. These four are equation of the curves. Let us draw the diagram. X axis, y axis, origin. See, x plus y equal to two. x plus y equal to two. Putting y equal to zero, we will get y equal to x equal to two. Putting y equal to x, this is which we will get the distance in the x axis. X equal to two, one, two. Distance one, one unit, one unit, two units. Again, putting x equal to zero, we will get y equal to two. And though this is y axis, y equal to two, one, two, and one, two. Draw the straight line. This is required a straight line. X plus y equal to we have drawn the straight line. Then x equal to one. 
x equal to 1, y also equal to 1. Therefore, at this place, these two curves cuts at the point x equal to 1, y equal to 1. This is equation of the line x equal to 1. x equal to 1 x equal to 1 and this is the parabola shapes of the parabolas mm -hmm. are this is o squared equal to 4 a x this shape is o squared equal to minus 4 a x This shape is s square equal to 4ay. This is the s square 4ay. This is the this is the shape of the parabola. Upper open shape. One more parabola is there. We may use in the in the later sums. This is passing through r is x square equal to minus 4ay. This is lower open this upper open therefore this is the required parabola this is the, this is the shape of the parabola therefore when x equal to 1 y also equal to 1 putting x equal to 1 y also equal to 1 therefore this parabola and the straight line x equal to 1 all cut at the 1 1 this is the shape of the parabola passing through the origin the shape of the parabola it cuts at this point this equation of y axis x equal to 0 equation of y x equal to 0 this line is x equal to 1 this is x plus x plus y equal to 2 this is the parabola x square equal to y x equal to root of y the point is 1 1 this is the required shape of the parabola shade of the parabola uh, shade of the required region by cutting uh, formed by these four curves x equal to 0 is the equation of the y axis see we are going to change out of integration. Take the limit on y axis 0 to 1. x is the curve left to right. x the curve 0. Right axis root of y. The same function xy dx dy. Whenever we are integrating with respect to uh, limits are in the x. We have to integrate with respect to y. And limits are in y. We have to respect. We have to integrate with respect to x. With respect to x. Plus another step is one to two. One to two. The curve is left to right. Left is curve x equal to zero. X is left x equal to zero. Right x is here x equal to two minus y. Two minus y x y dx dy again i am telling we are taking limits on the y axis first limit x 0 to 1 0 to 1 x is left to the right if you take limit exercise on x axis we have to take limits uh, curve is x equal to uh, left to the right x equal to 0 curve right x equal to root y root y the same function x y dx dy plus 1 to 2 y, y axis limit is 1 to 2 and the curve is x is left to right this line the right side cuts two cuts as two curves first curve is parabola second curve is a straight line again again left to right x equal to 0 right x equal to 2 minus 2 minus the same x y dx dy we can see the same sum same uh, uh, sum from by seeing the diagram x axis limit is 0 to 1 0 to 1 o is bottom to top y 
we could x squared top y y equal to 2 minus x 2 minus x both way we can see if you do this directly you will get the answer but we should not do that the the oscar has changed order of integration therefore by using this diagram we are changing the order of integration again i am telling zero if limits are a to b on the x axis curve is there are two curves let us draw the straight line straight line o equal to f1 of x o equal to f2 of x if you take limits on the x axis a to b curve is bottom to the equal region curve is bottom to top curve is a function of x f1 of x f2 of x similarly bottom to top limit is 0 to 1 0 to 1 here a to b curve is bottom top bottom curve is parabola up to this uh, cut point bottom is parabola y y is bottom top y is x square top y is y is 2 minus x 2 minus x similarly if you take limits on the y axis a b there are curves This is the region x equal to f1 of x, f1 of y. Uh, the, the, this curve is x equal to f1 of y. This curve is x equal to f2 of y. If you take limits on y as a to b, curve x is left to right, x is function of y x is for, for f1 of a function of y x also fun, function of y similarly we are, if we take this 0 to 1 o has limit 0 to 1 o has limit 0 to 1 x is left to right x equal to 0 curve right x equal to root of y again taking 1 to 2 since the right side curves are two curves one curve is up to the point 1 parabola upper upper num number one it is straight line therefore we are using right side curve two curves therefore the one cuts the both the curves again x equal to one to two on the x axis limit is uh, curve is x left to right x is a zero right x equal to two minus y two minus y this is changing order of degradation <coughs> if we do this sum we have changed order of integration. It is enough to do the sum. If we do, if we integrate, we will get the result. Let us do the integration. Equal to 0 to 1, 0 to root y. We are integrating with respect to x only. If limits are in y, that belongs to x only, therefore y comes out. y here, x dx dy. If limits in y, we have to integrate with respect to x only. Let us separate this. 0 to root y, x dx dy. Similarly, 1 to 2 o is taken out limit 0 to 2 minus y <coughs> x dx dy limit are in x we have to integrate with respect to x or d 0 to 1 y x is x square by 2 limit is 0 to root y plus 1 to 2 y integration is s square by 2 with 0 to 2 minus y dy integration of x is x dx equal to s square by 2 basic 
again 0 to 1 y apply the upper limit root y whole square by 2 minus lower limit 0 by 2 here dy dy plus 1 to 2 y upper limit 2 minus a whole square by 2 lower limit is 0 of dy take into out 0 to 1 y root of y square root of y whole square is only y dy plus 1 to 2 this one by 2 taken out 1 by 2 1 to 2 y into 2 minus y whole square dy One by two zero to one y square dy plus one by two one to two y into two minus whole square a square minus two a b plus b square of dy a minus a square minus 2 a b plus b square a is 2 b is y 1 by 2 0 to 1 integrating y cubed by 3 limit is 0 to 1 here 1 by 2 1 to 2 y is at this at the right at the outer of this bracket therefore we should after in, multiplying y inside then only we can integrate similarly 2 squared is 4 4 y 4 y square y cubed dy now we can integrate equal to 1 by 2 1 by 3 minus 0 upper limit 1 cubed is 1 by 3 plus 1 by 2 integrating 4 y square by 2 4 y cubed by 3 plus y power 4 by 4 limit 1 to 2 1 by 6 plus 1 by 2 giving upper limit 4 by 2 2 2 2 square 4 by 3 2 cubed plus 2 power 4 by 4 minus one well, bit 1 4 by 2 2 1 square 4 by 3 1 cubed plus 1 power 4 by 4 close the bracket equal to 1 by 6 plus 1 by 2 8 2 squared is 4 into 8 minus 2 cubed is 8, 8 to 4, 32, 32 by 3 plus 2 power 4 is 16 by 4 minus 2 minus 4 by 3 plus 1 by 4 closing the bracket. equal to 1 by 6 plus 1 by 2 of removing the bracket 8 minus 32 by 3 plus 16 by 4 is 4 minus 2 plus 4 by 3 
minus 1 by 4 equal to 1 by 6 plus 1 by 2 8 plus 4 12 12 minus 2 10 minus 5 2 by 3 plus 4 by 3 minus 28 by 3 minus 1 by 4 equal to 1 by 6 plus 1 by 2 LCB is 12 12 10 120 minus 12 by 3 is 4 4 to 28 112 minus 3 equal to 1 by 6 plus 1 by 2 120 minus 115 equal to 5 by 12 equal to 1 by 6 plus 5 by 24 equal to 24 is the LCM 4 <coughs> plus 5 equal to 9 by 24 3 by 8 is the answer again we are going to see third sum <coughs> Sub number 3, change order of integration integration 0 to infinity, x to infinity, e power minus y by y dx dy and evaluate and evaluate let us draw the diagram in Shelley <coughs> 0 to infinity x to infinity if limits are in x that belongs to y only, equating y, remaining x. This is the method of drawing the diagram. See, if there is limit 0 to infinity, x to infinity. If there is a limit in x, put equal to y, equal to y. Remaining x, x equal to 0, x equal to infinity. By taking 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 curves, we can draw the diagram. First curve is x equal to y. Second is y equal to infinity. Third is x equal to infinity. Fourth is x equal to 0. These four curves. By using these four curves, we can draw a diagram. First x equal to y. This goes at the middle x equal to y x equal to y and x equal to 0 is equation of the y axis x equal to 0 equation of all our curves x equal to 0 is equal this is a curve they are taking this y axis as a curve. Y equal to infinity. X also infinity. C. 0. This is x equal to 1. X equal to 2. Up and goes on. X equal to infinity. Similarly, it goes, the curve goes up to infinity this curve is x equal to infinity it, the, this line is at the infinity x equal to infinity similarly y equal to infinity in the end the y equal to 1 y equal to 1 
o equal to 2 similarly o equal to infinity that is dotted line is o equal to infinity x equal to 0 this is x equal to y we have drawn both curves first curve is x equal to y side is o equal to infinity this, this line is at the infinity x equal to infinity this line is at the infinity x equal to 0 equation of y axis see we have to draw the shadow region shadow lines 1, 2, 3. These three curves make the curves. Here is not the curve. Therefore, this is the required shadow region. This is the required shadow region. It goes up to infinity. x equal to y. x equal to y. x equal to y. Again, we are going to change the order of integration. Just we already we know this. If the limits are on the x-axis, curve is o equal to f1 of x, o equal to f2 of x. This is the region. The limits are x as a to b. Bottom to top, o is bottom to top. O is uh, the limit. The limit is. 0 to infinity this a to b a b is infinity b is infinity o is bottom to top o equal to x top o equal to infinity this is a given sum we are seeing if you take limit on o axis it goes up to infinity 0 to o equal to infinity goes up to infinity therefore 0 to infinity x is the curve x is the curve if you take limits on x y axis x is f1 of y and x equal to f2 of y this is the region if you take limit on the y axis 0 to infinity y could infinity the line is up to in, at infinity this is OE 0 to infinity, 0 to infinity and x is the curve left to right. Uh, this line cuts at the infinity, 0 to infinity, x is left to right. If you take limits on the OE axis, x is curve left to right, x equal to 0, right x equal to y. Therefore, e power minus y by y dx dy we have changed the order see in both way we can see the order changing if taking limits taken on x axis 0 to x equal to infinity up to if the line goes up to infinity x equal up then <coughs> x, x equal to 0 to infinity o is bottom top o is x top o is infinity o in, up to infinity we have the same sum we can by from this diagram we can see the sum given sum and by change to change the order of integration taking a limit o e axis 0 to up to goes up to infinity o e sign is up to infinity this this cut cutting the line is up to infinity 0 to infinity x is the curve left to right x equal to 0 right is the line right x equal to y we have change order of integration. This is enough to do the sum. Let us do the sum. <coughs> Zero to infinity. If the limits are limits are in y, we have to integrate thus for the x only. This limit y belongs to x only. Therefore, e power minus y by y, 0 to y, dx dy, equal to 0 to infinity, e power minus y by y, integrated with dx, is x, 0 to y, dy. Integration of only dx is, x basic 
again 0 to infinity e power minus y by y upper limit is y lower limit is 0 of dy y will get cancelled 0 to infinity e power minus y dy integrating e power minus y by minus 1 limit is 0 to infinity integration of e power ax dx equal to e power ax by a this is the basic integration a is minus 1 here therefore minus 1 given the upper limit e power minus infinity by minus 1 lower limit is e power 0 by minus 1 e power minus infinity always 0 therefore e power infinity equal to infinity e power minus infinity equal to 0 we shouldn't forget this this comes at all places therefore e power minus infinity is 0 e power 0 is 1 1 by minus 1 which is equal to minus minus plus 1 1 is the answer Again, I am telling change order of integration. How we are taking the change or changing the order? Then I am telling this is x equal to y. The curve is x equal to y. Y equal to infinity. X equal to infinity. X equal to zero. Equation of y is x equal to zero. The one line may be at the infinity. This is called the limit is x equal to infinity, infinity limit, x is 0 to infinity. Similarly, there may be line o equal to at the infinity, infinity, o equal to infinity, x equal to y. Maximum curves come this in this, 1, 2, 3 curves come, therefore require the region. Therefore, this is a required region. <coughs> if you take limits on x axis, 0 to infinity, 0 to x is up to infinity. This line is, cuts this line is up to infinity, 0 to infinity. O is bottom to top, O is 0, y. O equal to x top, O is infinity. <coughs> this is a given term limit. If you take limits on the O axis, O axis means 0 to up to infinity. This line goes up to infinity. This limit is 0 to infinity o equal to infinity o equal to 0 to infinity 0 to infinity this line o equal to infinity cuts the cuts the o axis at the infinity 0 to o axis limit o axis limit is 0 to infinity x is left to right x equal to 0 right x equal to y we change we are in this way we are changing the order of integration <coughs> 